Pikachu, 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 I didn't say you could come into my house. <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> what the hell? Ooh. Pikachu just ran right into the guy's house. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Spellacast. We're your hosts, the fabulous Zinker, and I don't know the Derekish Derek. Uh, Wonderful and... weather we're having. <laughs> and today's topic on the Spellacast: Pokemon. Let's go, Eevee. Whoa! What's the Spellacast? We're doing a podcast. Oh, Pokemon. Let's go, Pikachu too. But I couldn't. I couldn't find the logo for that. So it's this is what it is. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to discuss stuff. We're discussing this. This is a thing we're doing. Derek's in the woods right, right. now, so his internet kind of sucks. So bear with us. This probably yeah. is going to go awful. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, right now I'm currently sitting at, like outside in, in like other darkness. I have like a small campfire and my computer for light. <laughs> so my computer is not providing very much light. Um, I keep hearing sounds around me. Every so often I do see like eyes staring back at me. Um uh, multiple times I've heard whispers uh, of sweet nothings in the, in my ear. Uh, it, yeah. it, it's it, it it's been a time. I mean, if you hear hacking oh. noises, it's probably me. If you hear uh, what noise? Hacking noises. I, I said attacking, but attacking that was noises. Got it. Um. Well, okay. So like, as, as you already can witness, you know, Derek. Someone being bald. As you already can witness, Derek is in and out. Um. This is actually the first time we talked since uh, you left that from like my first RIT. Um, I haven't. Yeah, I have, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've Damn, uh, I'm so watched it. I'm upset because I feel like all my good jokes are going to be cut off. Yeah. <laughs> Probably every single one, knowing your pure luck. Anyhow, um, yeah. so wow, those new Pokemon trailers came out for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Derek. Why, why don't why don't you tell us your reactions to that? All right. Well, well. So first off, you you told me about it a little bit, and then I just yeah. recent, I like just watched the trailer like two minutes ago. Yes. Um, you, about three so minutes ago. When you told actually. me about it, my thought. Yeah, yeah. When you told me about it, my thought was, it just it sounds like Pokemon Go, but in Kanto, which is like original <laughs> Pokemon Go. Yes. Uh, and then now, now after watching the trailer, my thought is. It's Pokemon Go, but in Kanto. <laughs> like original Pokemon Go. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you who haven't watched the trailer yet, I mean, card link, I guess, but it's... like, go watch, like, what's up? But I'm, I'm assuming anyone watching this and discovered this has probably already seen the trailers. Uh, so Pokemon, let's go. So I, I don't know how much you've got garnered from that trailer, Derek, but... Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee are going to be essentially watered-down versions of the main Pokemon games, um, which are... It, so, there's no wild battles anymore. There's just lobbing a ball and catching stuff. Um, yeah. You, you saw a co-op mode. I did there's, see some... Um, yeah. What, what's up? And I did see some sort of battling. I don't know... I don't. I did see some sort of battling, too. I don't know if it's, like, a, a, like normal Pokemon battling or if it's just like pokemon go battling which is just like tap tap um i believe i believe it's gonna be act well i'll get into that um there's co-op mode um there's only the first 151 okay. pokemon uh there are that's fine eevees and ivies and stuff uh, apparently there are an actual pokemon go too which i didn't know um there. what well yeah, yeah, okay. yeah that is that is true <laughs> po pokemon go does it a little weird i think so, uh, yeah, but it's it, like some weird percent. No, I think it's actually the same thing. It's just CP represents it. Um, anyhow, that's what's going to be in this it's game. Well there's going to be uh, there's going to be EVs and IVs in this game and stuff. Um, it's just going to end their uh, power is going to be represented by CP, I guess. But it's just a number. Um, but the stats are unaltered that I know about. Um, there's no breeding that I know of. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I think it's confirmed. There's no breeding. That might that might be a rumor. There's, there's a few weird things going around. Um, there are reduced online stuff. Um, you will be able to online battle and online trade. That will require the online subscription for the Nintendo Switch. No surprise. Um, but there's no GTS mm -hmm. or Wonder Training or, like, Battle Spot or any of that stuff. Um, so th those are all gone. Uh, mm. essentially, 
the way I would describe it is it's going to be baby's first Pokemon game. Um, it is designed for, you yeah. know, people who play Pokemon Let's Go. Um, like the casual people, the people who don't normally play Pokemon games. Uh, it's to bring them into the series by bringing them with the first 151 Pokemon. Um, and, you know, like watering down some mechanics so it's not as complicated. Um, and then, uh, you know, just teaching them, teaching them, showing them the ropes, I presume. Um, it, are, it, it already looks extremely easy from what we can garner based on the fact that it's clearly going for these casual people. Uh, that the fact that there's two, so there's two versus yeah. one Pokemon battling. Um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, mm, yeah. Uh, if you're wondering how the battles are going, it's not going to be Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. There was a Bulbasaur. What was it? There was a Venonite getting fucked up by like a Bulbasaur and a Pikachu. Uh, <laughs> like that poor Venonet. Um, yeah, no. But there's uh, yeah. a battling is going to be regular that I know. It's not going to be like Pokemon Go. It's I assume there's going to be a huge limited move set though, so that there's you know like there's not going to be that yeah. many different moves. So there's not going to be too much strategy. There'll be a little strategy, but not too much strategy because this is again clearly this is for the well, casual that crowd. Like, that feel, but go on, go ahead. Well, that feels like it'll look. I was gonna say that feels like it'll look it'll work weird though because like in Pokemon Go you do have the or because you, you can trade with Pokemon Go, it shows yeah. anyways. Um. It looks like you can go back and forth between the two, and and in Go you, you only have like the two moves. You can actually only go from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go. You can't go back. Oh, okay. Or well, it showed like yeah. someone getting a present from the, the Switch, but that may have just been like a present, like it was just like another. It was just an item you, or something cool you get. But like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think Pokemon. I believe it's confirmed that. So, uh, so I know it's one way. I know it, it goes one direction. You can move things to Pokemon Let's Go to Pokemon Go, or you can move things to Pokemon Go to Let's Go. Uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember which hmm. one right now. Um, I, the, the way we're recording this, let's go, let's go. I, I'm probably, I'm a little ashamed to do this, but this is Google Slides right now, so I don't want to exit this uh, <laughs> and look it up because it will pop up on uh, screen. So I guess I could just do it on my phone, but I'm not going to. Um, but I was, was going to say, you just use a different device. Yeah, but that, that Derek, that's thinking well, smart. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Um, so, uh, what, what's your what's your opinion on this uh this game? Uh, obviously, I guess I should note um because you you probably don't know this. Um, in it, it, this came out of Pokemon Quest or this announcement came of Pokemon Quest. Um, but also there's going to be a Generation Eight Pokemon game that's uh more for the core audience. Obviously, this isn't replacing. Pokemon as we know yeah, it. This is I, a, I, I wouldn't think it would. Be it's a spin-off game. slash main game. People are like, oh, it's a spin-off. It you don't like... have to worry about it. But you know, it doesn't matter. Some people are like, no, it's actually a main game. But it's it doesn't really matter what the label is. It's clearly different. And how could it be a main game? I I don't know. It's, it's only got 151. Anyways, um, I okay. So my my initial impression of looking at it is this somehow feels like let like hit you pikachu to me um yeah do you know what that is yeah uh that's where you talk okay. with pikachu so in the I microphone to, for I the kinda... n64 yeah pretty much that's the game <laughs> that's all it is not work. what's up uh, yeah yeah it is um the n64 mic that did not work where um oh yeah it was a it, it wasn't it wasn't really meant to be like a pokemon game or anything it's just like a fun like it was just like using the world as like a a way to it, it was using the setting as a way to like just create like a fun like experience sort of thing mm-hmm. I, I feel like that's kind of what this is supposed to do because like you can it's you ever, it's you like ever how, play pokemon it, channel for one thing it makes pokemon it get completely so, no. oh you never did oh it's the sequel to hey you pikachu uh boy do we have something to do oh, when okay. you come up for <laughs> Boy, do we have yeah, a I shitty GameCube I've mic? Too. I've seen it before. I haven't played it. Boy, do we have a shitty GameCube um, mic? I have like two of those laying around. Good. I wonder if uh, it works with my computer. Anyhow, continue, continue your thought. I completely <laughs> interrupted you for this. So it's really, like for your computer, you just use a computer mic. Um, I guess. Like the one you're talking <laughs> to right now. Uh, anyways, um, but then, but then you don't get the shitty experience, and you're really missing out. Um, exactly. So, uh, <laughs> It, for one thing, it does. It... Oh, Derek, Derek, it's Derek, it, Derek it, you're it, real. It's you like, just it's re- repeat meeting. it, repeat it, repeat. Everything went out. Try again. 
Okay. Not a single it, word uh, was said. It gives. It gives. Okay. It gives Pokemon Go a little bit more meaning. Oh. Because it, it's very black in that still. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon Go. The thing. So this is my main problem with them. Uh, with this game, besides the watered down mechanics. I mean, like I like I said, um, it's for a casual crowd. It's not for us core people. Um, it's for mm. it's for a casual crowd. So obviously, it's not gonna. It, it's meant to bridge the gap for the casual crowd to get them into the Pokemon I'm glad game you to said make more us money. Because I would have been very upset. I'm glad you said us because I would have been very upset if you didn't. <laughs> okay, it's not just competitive. It's not just the hardcore people. It's core gamers too. Like it doesn't appeal to the core crowd either. Yeah. Like the core crowd is very no, varied. What I mean but... by that is, I would. What I mean by that is, I would have been upset if you, if you had made it sound, if you had made me off or sound like some sort of casual. Because <laughs> while like I, I mean, I, I sure I, I, you you I deserve play, it. I don't. You deserve it only because you play Pokemon Go when we're recording, which you're not supposed to be doing, and you know it. <laughs> close it. Close this phone. <laughs> um. It's not even a flip phone, it's a smartphone, but you close it like a flip phone. Like, I don't want to use that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you... <laughs> um, but, uh, no. Also, so yeah, I, I still do play Pokemon Go. Well, I, I stopped for a while, and then I started again, because Pokemon yeah. started showing up at RIT, and a bunch of people I know got back into it. Mm -hmm. um, the game mode, it's still like... Go, I, Go is... Something about it is still fun. I think it's just like the the the, the way it, it the way it works is just kind of like a addicting sort of, and especially because it plays off of the for a lot of people who it plays off of nostalgia for people who have played Pokemon like their entire life. Yep. Um, but um, I don't. I I just it just it does, this whole this feels like weird for it feels weird for me for them to try it again, and but put it in a different setting. Um, uh, oh, you got just because, more? like, I, I feel like, yeah, well, I was going to say, like, the, I think the big draw for Pokemon Go really is getting up and, and going. Like, on, like honestly, like, it, it's fun, and or I, that's one of my favorite things is just, like, going for, uh, like, um, like, a couple hours to kill. Uh, just go for a Pokemon walk. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just, you know, walk around, have fun, whatever, um, or going out with other people, but... Just like sitting on my couch and throwing it and pretending to throw a pokeball at my TV, I feel like uh, is both dangerous for my TV and also just, <laughs> it's gonna get old real fast. Well, you have the <laughs> Joy-Con <laughs> grips, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I assume they that's kind of why co-op modes there. Um, like I said, it's a yeah. bridge from uh, Pokemon Go to the main Pokemon game, so they're trying to take that Pokemon Go feel and put in the Pokemon Let's Go things. Mm -hmm. Um, the so the deal is. I, like, alright, so I think this is stupid, because, um, no one plays Pokemon Go anymore. Um, and what I mean by no That's one plays Pokemon true. Go, well, well, hold on, let me, when I say no one plays Pokemon Go anymore, I mean, like, Pokemon Go is this huge, big thing that lots of people, Less people that, play. lots of people play, yeah, I know, lots of people have played, like, huge, like, it was super meme status, mm -hmm. it was literally... It was a significant part of 2016. It was, it was uh, significantly impacting people's daily lives. It was. Um, and it, it did this for casual. It did it for core gamers. Blah 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 blah, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the casual crowd that the um, so core the Pokemon Go obviously still has an audience. Um, and possibly even a decent sized audience at that. Nothing compared to what it was, and. Pretty much, I'm going to say, uh, I'm spitting a random number out, but I'm going to say at least 90% of that audience are people who were Pokemon fans for a long time. Um, the casual crowd that this game is... Uh... What's up? Derek? I didn't say anything. Oh, uh, so I, the I, casual I, crowd there. that Pokemon uh, Go had, which was extremely large... Um, none of them, or almost, or at least almost none of them, are playing this game or playing Pokemon Go anymore. It's dead. It's a dead meme, essentially, for them. Um, which, which yeah. that that's problem number one. Um, now I you... think I think there was a larger percentage of people that were that had never played touched Pokemon before. I think there's there was a larger percentage of people that had never touched Pokemon Pokemon before that started with Go. But yes. I still agree that, like, for pretty much all those people, if unlike Go, Go didn't, 
it, it introduced people to the idea of Pokemon or like for people who had like heard the name from like maybe their kids or something like that or seen stuff or like seen products related to Pokemon. It and, like and, showed them kind of what, what it is, but it didn't, it certainly didn't get them into it. And a lot of people did watch the show actually, even of the casual crowd that I know of. A lot of people watched the very original mm-hmm. Pokemon show. Um, yes. Because they knew, they knew a little bit about it. Um, but it didn't get him into it. My mom still knows a bunch of Pokemon just from from watching it from or from like watching it when I would watch it. Um, wow. It's really funny to hear like how she how wrong she gets some things, but like she does know some of the original ones and two just which which actually like really when I originally was or when I played Pokemon Go in 2016, it actually kind of amazed me when like I would say like when I would like say a Pokemon name and she would like be like, isn't that like I'd say like oh there's like a Diglett nearby? And she'd be like, isn't that like the like the like the the round thing that like sticks out of the ground sort of, and I'm, like, I'm, I'm i'm kind of frankly i'm impressed that you remember that <laughs> dig 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 Go dig on. dig dig um yeah but basically a lot of that crowd has dropped off um which is the problem if this came out two years mm-hmm. earlier which i yeah. know the switch wasn't out but this came out two years mm-hmm. earlier in the middle of that hype it would actually succeed in bringing in that casual crowd and you know like yeah. it might not necessarily succeed in converting them to uh we, we can't tell if it would succeed in converting them to Pokemon fans. We don't know what the game is like. But you yeah. know, it would actually like attract those Pokemon Go players, but it's not going to attract those Pokemon Go players. Now, I know some people are like, "Well, there's still some people from the casual crowd playing Pokemon Go, I bet." Um probably, I I would say a small percentage, but now let's go into this. Uh how many of them have Nintendo Switches? Uh not a lot, if I assume. Yeah. The, the the exceptions to this would be if they have maybe a sibling that has a Nintendo Switch or another family member, but it's very unlikely. Yeah. For a lot, for it depends on the type of casual person. There might be casual gamers in there versus uh, casual people mm-hmm. with just mobile phones. Um, but it's very unlikely that they have a Nintendo Switch in their household. Um, I'd only say they do if they have a sibling that has it. Um, which is how they'll get that. So that's a huge problem. Um, once again, if this came out during the hype, uh, it, it, it's very well. I mean, it would be mm-hmm. difficult, but it's very well possible that this could sell some Nintendo Switches. Uh, there's no way you'd get like a large portion of that casual crowd, but you'd still get. You still would be able to get a percentage of it, right? Um, I, I assume. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, right now, like e- even the people who are still playing it. Um, I doubt they are enjoying it as much as they did when it came out in 2016. I doubt, like, it's not... People who are... Like, the people ca- who are still playing Pokemon Go? Like, I, I don't, like, I, it's... Like... It's not as, I think, whoa, amazing as when it first came out. Because nothing ever really is. You know? You never get those first experiences again. Like, you know, imagine the first uh, time you played Pokemon. I would argue... Well, are we, go ahead, go ahead. Argue... For, I would argue for people who who people who never stopped playing Pokemon Go uh-huh. when raids came out. Raids were, were like a big were like a big deal and big and like a big like uh, addition to to Pokemon Go. Like I have a I do have a I have a friend. Who oh, uh, stopped playing. Uh, I heard Go. I have a friend. He, he may have stopped for a bit, but like when raids. I okay. I have a friend at RIT who. I think he stopped, or I think he stopped playing Pokemon Go um, after uh, Pokemon stopped uh, appearing Pokemon at RIT because that was a whole thing that happened. Oh really? Um, they just didn't appear. Yeah, they. Um, it was. It's a bit of a long story. Uh, RIT or uh, Pokemon Go did a thing where like they they let people provide. I believe this is how it. Or this is what happened. They did a thing where they like let pe- uh, users provide input on like where they play and like. Uh, and like help gather location data so they could be more efficient and or be more effective with picking where to like where Pokemon should spawn. And some uh, from what people always or what people at RIT say anyways is that someone basically or, or someone or like some group of people basically like conveyed the data that RIT is just it's just entirely swamp uh, and like oh. there's nothing there. So basically, Pokemon Go for a while thought RIT is just a big swamp. Um, which okay. isn't entirely wrong, but like, um, <laughs> all right. Well, that's a nice short but, little um, story. So all right, like, understood. Yeah. So, so they stopped playing. Uh, keep back. going. Um, yeah, but uh, I have a friend who start. He, I think he stopped after Pokemon stopped spawning at RIT, but he started again when raids became a thing, 
and from what he's told me like for people for like him when he's home with like his friends that from where where he lives that's they play pokemon go a lot still um they still go to and like they'll take like a day where like they'll just go around and play um you know like so they'll drive around different places um they'll look for for raids happening at gyms um and from what they've told me, what, what generally happens is they get to the raid, uh, where the raid is, like, wait, like, 10 minutes or so. By the time it's, like, 10 or ten minutes in, like, um, there's, like, 20, 30, pe- 30, 20, 30, 40 people there um, that are all playing. Okay. Uh, um, I don't think he comes from, I don't think he lives in, like, a big city or anything like that, but he lives in, like, a still a heavily populated area. Like, uh, uh, like the, the place, that, like, the kind of, like, place that Pokemon Go expects you to be playing in. Gotcha. Um interesting and uh like this so, so i think for i think when raids became a thing people who like who were still playing or like even people who maybe like stopped but like picked it up again because of raids i think they kind of still they still like they, they kind of like revitalized it for for people um who had been playing for a while or at least were playing before for people for people who were like really into into go like for for casual people who like who would like pick up go just because like it was a popular thing they heard about it from someone they go around and be like oh cool i caught this this like duck looking thing that it looks confused um okay uh, and it like they played for about like they 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 played for about like uh like a week and then put it down no uh, no no, no i um i let's see here uh so there people I, who played I, I, for a couple months there, like, no, so. no, there, like, there was a huge, uh, for the casual crown, there, um, like, I, I saw this at my work, the people were just addicted to it, uh, casual and core people, yes. like, like, just straight would, up addicted I, to it, I don't think there was I anyone that see... just picked it up for a week and I... said it that, well, I mean, there was, obviously, but, like, I don't think there was a large percentage of that, most, you know, most people who, I think most people who started playing it when it came out played for about two months. Yeah, two three months. That's a, I don't I don't remember. Two thousand sixteen was a while ago. It lasted longer than it lasted longer than we both expected, but it didn't last as long as as and as a uh, uh, Niantic wanted it to last. Yeah, what I what I know to, uh, what uh, I mean like what I know is like everyone at my work was playing it, including my managers. Uh, they definitely don't play you know Pokemon. <laughs> both of my managers, both <laughs> both of them. <laughs> so this is a bit of a tangent. Yeah, uh, but uh, just from pokemon go i want i really would love to see i need to do this at some i need to look into this at some point i want to see uh the financial or i want to see the or various charts about um economic uh, uh about like how the economy was that summer that pokemon go came out in 2016 i want to see how much either i, I want to see what or like how much that game actually affected the economy because i feel like there's two things that could have happened Either a, it stimulated the economy because it got people going out, going to businesses, doing whatever. Um, like people would go to places to just to play Pokemon Go, and while you're there, you like buy like a drink, whatever. Yeah. Um, so I feel like it did help the economy. That being said, people who are working also that had to have been like the least productive summer, like uh, like <laughs> in, this, in in like a very long time, <laughs> because like so many people yeah, were, were mean... neglecting their work. <laughs> by playing Pokemon I, Go. I know least, it, I I not, know or at least like like I know but. I know it was a slight problem at my place of work that people would play it but they would only play it when they had downtime and obviously when they're not on camera I always like, get caught with the exception of my managers who just played it while they're walking around. I uh, they weren't they probably weren't managing as much as they normally do uh, <laughs> that summer. Yeah. But um like, it definitely pretty, like What's up? Uh, so my boss is like, I was gonna say, like, like my boss is pretty cool. Like he doesn't really have like my. Uh, there were like three of, three of us at my work uh, that summer playing. Mm-hmm. Um, I it, I can tell you right now. You said you. I will tell you right now, and then you cut out completely. Derek. Okay. You said I will tell I would, you so right would, now, so, and but, then you cut out completely. I don't know uh, if you heard that. So, um. I would like I I still like did all the stuff I was or like did my work or whatever, but I can tell but, uh, Pokemon Go one hundred percent affected my like work <laughs> ethic, because uh, like there would be times where I would be or like in between do like working or whatever I would like go out of my way I would go I I would like walk around uh, the area a bit I would uh I'd have my phone like in like a bat or in like a an encounter. 
um, laying face down, of course, uh, outside, um, like somewhere where like I know no one's gonna like accidentally like bump into it or, or see it that I'm playing it, but um, like it 100% affected my work ethic very heavily. And frankly, I or frankly, if I worked in any other place, I probably just should have been fired. <laughs> Um, yeah, so. didn't affect me at all. Did not ever hop on the Pokemon Go train. I didn't no, even eventually it. get it. Didn't play it. I did play it. I didn't play it for, I didn't hop on the train for a while. Um, that being said, I also never had data. So I guess that slightly yeah, affected that's, it. That's, but, that's a big thing. But nonetheless, uh, ir- irregardless, uh, t- regardless, um, let's go back to what you're saying about how raids revive, yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to what you're saying about how raids yeah. revitalized it. Um, so, but here's the deal with the raids, right? How many of those people that are that, that were revitalized? It like are they actually like casual people revitalized, or like are they just the core audience? Yeah, I guess they're probably. Yeah, I guess they're probably. I, I would consider them core, and I and I I think most. I think a lot of people who are gonna like heavily care about raids are probably core, just because like yeah, you have to go through a lot. For yeah, effort for that, them. You can't like the legendary raids. You need somewhere between like six and nine people there just to be able to do it. Yeah, um, and I bet a lot of the casual crowds, friends, are like hot, hopped off it. Maybe I mean some groups probably still keep up mm-hmm. with Pokemon Go, but I bet a lot of the casual crowd hopped off the Pokemon really Go. Grin. Um, yeah, I mean, well, you know, it depends on the person. So, like, I believe it's the revitalize. But my point is, yeah. um. You know, like, I don't think, it, it for the casual people out there still, Pokemon Go probably isn't what it once was in 2016 to them, even if they still play it. So I don't know if it's going to yeah. cause them to get Nintendo Switches if it would, in, even in the first place, which is a problem. So basically, this game, which is targeted at casual the casual audience, um, is very unlikely to sell to any in the casual audience. Um, the only possible exception I see it, even people who like once play Pokemon Go, who see this trailer, like, they're gonna be like, oh, mm-hmm. cool, I loved Pokemon Go when it came out. Um, but they're not gonna wanna spend $360 to get Pokemon Let's Go, whatever version mm-hmm. they want. It's a $60 game, by the way. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Switch say, for 300 bucks. Even if they have the Switch already, I don't think they're gonna wanna spend 60 60 60 um, I mean, yeah, 60 is a bit much. But, like, 16, they might be willing to dish out for it, if depending on how much they like Pokemon Go. Um, but really, like I said, this like if this came out in 2016, this would be breaking in those casual people. Um, uh, like, it, it really would do it, but I don't think it's going to bring much of the casual crowds. So that leaves a huge problem with Pokemon Let's Go, mm-hmm. Pikachu, and Eevee here. Um, it's, it, the only people who are going to be buying it, really, are the core audience. Um yeah, I, I feel like it's just I, I think as like a supplemental thing. Um, I don't think that like I don't th- it the, from how it looked to me, it doesn't look like it's a very it doesn't look like it would have even been really like a very intensive game for them to make. Um, I feel like they're just Christ. kind of releasing it, hoping like maybe like. I'm just saying. Look. No, no, no. The by, the, by the your it, internet thing yeah. was like it was doing weird stuff. I heard mo- I heard no. most of that, but like it would like. It would lag into the future. Does that make sense? That's what it just did when you said intense. <laughs> it said you said intent, and then it like quickly went to the ins. Uh, and I was like, uh. <laughs> um. Anyhow. <laughs> oh no, I didn't say intense. I said intense. Like like you know, like whatever. In, like, you know like, uh, what, what, like what, what, whatever that intense. last syllable, uh, Derek. In, that last syllable. Um, it, it lagged into the future. The, the, it, I don't know how that it makes sense, or but that's what happened. All right. I said uh, intense as it. I, I said intense as in uh, I've been captured by ran, or by some forest people who are dragging me to their camp, and I think they're going to take me into intense. Okay, gotcha. Um, continue your thought. <laughs> um, no, anyways. Uh, so, fuck! I lost my thought. Where is she? Um. <laughs> Woo! I gotta find her. I need. If she breathes, she's a die. What? Let me get my thought detector. Oh, um, yeah. So it doesn't look like. I feel like. Just kind of like quickly, like t- rather than t- chucking out another poke, like actually, like full-on Pokemon game. I feel like they're just doing this just as like a like hold on, hold on. We'll- 
get to the next generation. Just just give us like a year. Just just here, take this. I like, probably yeah yeah. Like, I like a, you know, I, I get what you mean. Oh, like, like a hold off game. They're, they're too. But they didn't really need it. <laughs> Pokemon isn't one. This Pokemon is... isn't a series that really yeah. does that. Cause like Pokemon just like you know what? Hey, you want a new Pokemon generation game? Well, you're gonna wait five years before you see it. Yeah. yeah but they still like to, I think they still like to do like sh like shit in between. Like what? I well, wanna... they do a lot of spinoffs in between, but like, I don't I don't think this is what this game is for. Um, it's for it's definitely for the casual crowd. Um, my worries. Let's see. What's up? What are you go, looking up? Go on. Go on. I'm, I'm looking something up. Um, my worries for this game. Um, so like, it's not gonna sell the casual people. It's not going it, likely. It's likely not gonna sell the casual people. It's likely not gonna sell well for them. It's likely not gonna bring more too much, too many more. It will bring in some, but it likely won't bring in too much more. Uh, fans in the Pokemon series, which would be awesome if it did in the first place, because that would give it a bump. It, it pretty much once a series is created, it like goes up, and then usually it's just a downward fall. That makes sense. Um, it would mm -hmm. be, but it, you know, I don't think it's going to succeed there. Uh, the pro, if this game sells well, it's going to sell well to core gamers, and that really worries me. I mean, I don't think this will happen, but it worries me that if this game sells well, um. To the core audience, and mm. they realize it's to the core audience and not any new people. They're gonna be like, "Wow, core audience really likes this somewhat lazy made game. Uh, why are we not doing this for each game?" Uh, it is say, I, I'm sure this isn't a very expensive game to make, um, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm I'm worried like Game Freak slash Nintendo slash whoever goes a bit like EA in this direction on this, just because it's like, well, people obviously love this game and it's great for business. We should just make more games like it. Um, which would be, yeah. which that's, what, I, that's, I think that's definitely something that they could do, but I don't think they will. Cause I don't, I don't think do they will do it, but it, it, it's a, it's a little worry, a little fear. Um, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't recommend. It does. Frank, what's up? Go on. I was gonna say, well, I guess when, when I think about it though, I really didn't expect them to get this far in the first place. Uh, <laughs> of making another Pokemon Go. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, uh, it's just um, I would not. I would definitely not recommend any core person pick up this game. The only like uh, the only reason uh, I would is to cover it on YouTube. Um, maybe if Pokemon Go is still significant in your life, I guess. But I, even then, I'm still kind of like eh. Uh, I, I'd just be like, maybe if you have someone who used to play Pokemon Go or someone, a casual person who does play Pokemon Go, and you want to bring them in with the co-op mode, which is great. Co-op mode is definitely a great way for this to go. Um, that's what you do. I know, uh, mm -hmm. currently it is planned for Spellitons. Uh, not me and Derek, though. But it is planned for Spellitons to cover this game. Um, it'd probably be me. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, because fuck Pikachu. Who cares about Pikachu? Uh, Eevee. Um, partially, um, partially because I'm hoping to have a new co-host, but, uh, to, well, who knows? Um, but uh, I'd, I'd like, the, the plan for it right now is to have three people, me, a potential new co-host, and someone who's actually played Pokemon Go before, when it was popular, which is not my new co-host, apparently, for some fucking re inconvenient reason. Um, so, but it is my plan to cover it, but that's cause, uh, you know, I want, mm -hmm. I want to show off co-op. I, I, I do want to like touch this game, but like, I want to touch it all over in ways that it won't approve. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, no, but I do, I would like, I, I'm a big Whether fan. Whether it wants you to or not. Whether it wants me to or not. I would like to touch, I, I would like to actually like bring someone from that audience over and see what, uh, you know, see how they react to the game and stuff and see what happens. Um, I think that would be interesting, but, um. I'm also just, I'm just, uh, I'm a huge fan of Nintendo Switch. We should really have, like, a mm. podcast talking about Nintendo Switch sometime. A spellcast talking about uh, the Nintendo Switch sometime, because... I still, I still only own Fire Emblem Warriors on the Switch. Uh, to go quickly into it... Switch game right now. To go quickly into it, uh, Nintendo Switch has easily and quickly became, become my uh, most played uh, game system. Just because I can take it with me, like that simple. Um, very impressive. It's very far from doing that for me. <laughs> yeah, 
Well, you because you only have Fire Emblem more. It, it will do that. It, Derek, the moment the new Fire Emblem comes yeah. out, well, it will do that. Come out that I care about. Yeah. Oh yeah. I yeah. My work ethic's gonna plummet again. <laughs> Oh wait, um, no, I'll probably. Oh wait, no, it's it's not gonna come out until like I should I should be back in college by then. My work ethic's gonna be horrible in college <laughs> for a while. Yeah, um, I bet I bet we'll hear oh, about it. I'm gonna be rooming with people I can play with. Dude, E3 is just around the corner. I'm. I, what? What? Oh yeah, my God! Um, we'll I have saw, to talk like, about we, E3. I, I, yeah, we could. We'll um, have. We'll have to. That, we don't have uh, a people, choice. <laughs> if we're starting to. The... Yeah. People were expecting in uh, two weeks new Fire Emblem info or some info in the first place on the new Fire Emblem game because we really don't know anything about yeah, it. Yeah, you don't know anything. Um, um still expecting him in Smash. But, um, what my my uh, what yeah. I was trying to say about this Maybe. was uh, uh, I'm sorry. Do you have anything uh, else to say? I, I might have interrupted you. we just like no. new Fire Emblem. Uh, All right. Um, um, I was gonna say is that uh, I'm really enjoying covering these Nintendo Switch games. Um, I, I just wish we had a little bit of a better way to record it, because, uh, I know the Ross show is not perfect. I'm, I'm not, uh, I, I'm, like, 90% certain there's a bit of a delay on recording with the Ross show yeah. and OBS, and I don't oh. like that. Um, um, go on. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I was gonna say, uh, I don't know if that's the case, or, I've noticed in a lot of stuff, in a lot of our stuff, I feel like, uh, at least in my opinion, it feels like uh, our sync is off slightly, and I think that's a result of, my, of Movie Maker. But um, no, it's I've, not, I've noticed it, that in my own. For, it, I've it, noticed that myself too. Whenever I export something from Movie Maker, the audio always gets off. No, um, it's it only, does some really fucky stuff. No, it's only specifically for our series. I notice it in a way out really bad, Super Mario Odyssey really bad. Well, well decently bad, like possibly like a full second off. Um, I've noticed it, and it's uh, it's pretty much anything we record with the ratio in OBS, um, which is uh, concerning. I I'll, I'll have to look into upgrading that probably, um, and I might. I'm not sure what I'll do for now. For now, I'm not well, too worried about it. When we have 59 yeah, subscribers, yeah. like it's not. It's a little annoying, but it's not yeah. the biggest deal. Um, uh, in my opinion, I mean, I I, I, I might, I what, what I think it'll end up being is I'll, I'll we'll just record specifically at least Nintendo Switch games differently, um, because mm -hmm. I th those are new. The other thing is that like Nintendo Switch games are pretty popular because everyone wants to look up the new Nintendo games, whether they have the system or not. If they don't have the system, they want to watch it because they don't get to play it. Um, and if they do have the system, you know, it's just the great games. Nintendo Switch is killing it. Seriously, we should have mm -hmm. a discussion about Nintendo Switch sometime. Um, but that that was uh, that was where that sure. tangent was going. Is that it's just it's interesting to cover all of these games. Like, I mean, like they're not all good. Like Kirby Star Allies is pretty meh, but yeah, you know. Although I do have plans for Fire us. Emblem Warriors. Yeah, Fire. Oh, yeah, Fire Emblem Warriors. Kind of yeah, it, <laughs> it was, was kind of meh. It was like it was. Yeah, yeah they it was they like failed. Hyrule Warriors, I, except without the polish. Yeah, Hyrule Warriors Definite Edition. I'm I'm considering getting that because I'll be able to play that on the go. Um, yeah, I I, I I'm absolutely um, serious. You have no idea how useful that portability function is. All right, but this, this is Pokemon Let's Go. Let's go I, back I, to Pokemon Let's Go. Never I, <laughs> well, you it yeah, will uh, once well, Fire Emblem okay, so sixteen. I was gonna say, yep. Yeah, yeah, that is very true. Uh, so uh, what I was gonna say, uh, I did look it up. Um, I was just looking through uh, Pokemon games and their launch date and their releases. I was looking to see if I could find any cool trends. Um, looking, so, let's see. So, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee comes out in November 2018. Mm -hmm. um, November, uh, in t uh, November 2017, that was when we got Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Mm -hmm. um, and we also got Pokemon, we got also, also got Pokemon Tournament DX in September of 2017. But okay. I wouldn't, that, that's not really that. I don't think that's too significant to Pokemon because that's more that's more Tekken than Pokemon. Um, it's kind of both. Um, then uh, I want to yeah. do that. I want to uh, cover that in November too. Uh, but keep but, going. The, by the way, this this is why November sixteenth seemed felt significant to me uh, for um, uh, Pokemon. Uh, November so November eighteenth, uh, twenty sixteen is when Sun and Moon launched. Yeah. November seventeenth, twenty seventeen, is when Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon launched. So November sixteenth, twenty eighteen, it it they launched the exact same week of the year. Yeah, Derek. Um, they, I, I I hate to burst your bubble here. It's a very popular uh, date. 
And it's a very popular date. I get that. I'm just saying this is why it felt familiar. I, I yeah, it I, is. that that time that around that time in November uh, is I believe when a surge of games are released. Um, yes, that's correct. Because a holiday, so they're trying to get the holidays. They're trying to get it before Black Friday because people are gonna go nuts yeah. buying that stuff um, and stuff like that. Uh, they're trying to get those. They're, they're trying. That that's basically yeah, it's a holiday. No, which that might be the it. most important. That might be the most important release actually of the year for games. That, a lot of them come out that time. Yeah. Um, other times, I think other surges in game releases. I think there is some in like April or May. Mm-hmm. We get like a nice surge. Um, I I I'm not quite sure. I I try to keep on top of it. Um, I know like I kind of notice when. Spelotons has dead time of new games are covering, and when Spelotons has suddenly like five new things are covering, I'm like where the hell did all this shit come from? Um, and it usually happens like near the end of the spring semester for us, which causes me to do some stuff solo, um, and you know, mm. us to do some last minute things. Uh, yeah, um, so it looks like, uh, in 2015, we really didn't get anything significant around that time for Pokemon. We got a, uh, it looks like they, they took a year off. We got like Super, you got Super Mystery Dungeon. Um, uh, in don't September. even don't don't mention any Mystery and Dungeon games. It, don't mention any Mystery Dungeon games, but the first two, Derek. Okay. We don't talk about those other ones. I'm just point, I'm just saying like they I'm don't just saying that's what came Derek, out about the, around that time. They and don't. Picross. They don't um, exist. The Pokemon Pick Cross is fine, but the the, so, the mystery dungeons. Okay, they, so that, they, those other ones, they so don't exist. Those Pokemon game for this for the year then. That was they, they kind of took a year off. <laughs> just, the then in twenty fourteen, in twenty fourteen, was uh in in November was Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Um, wow, that's crazy. Actually, they list, we had we got list Smash Bros on here. We got Pokemon Black and White <laughs> in uh, twenty ten in no, uh, November. Excuse myself, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm getting that. So twenty four, so twenty seventeen, we got a game. We got a game. Twenty sixteen, we got a game. Twenty fifteen, we did not really get anything. Twenty fourteen, we did. Uh, twenty thirteen was X and Y, um, which is oh. in October. Um, then twenty twelve was black. black and white two. Yeah, twenty ten must be black uh, and white. Well, uh, I know twenty. I literally 20, just looked up the release yeah. date for today for Pokemon Black and White. Completely unrelated to yeah. this conversation, I just happened to look at it. Um, yeah, it's a it, yeah. It, they mostly released in November. It's a popular time for Pokemon. Pokemon is a yeah. go to Christmas. I'm just present. saying. I was, I was I was just more going going. I was looking more for like a trend in like in in the years like that the years apart between games. Um, uh, between yeah, like the, significant games. Yeah, it does. Oh. I'm surprised that like X and Y went straight into a Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire in just a year. That's kind of that. That's slightly impressive. Um, yeah. That being said, no, I remember. I, I, I remember them doing that. It felt a little weird. But because like, they skipped that's not the Z. first time they've done. Like where's Pokemon Z guys? You don't get it. <laughs> no Pokemon Z. Yeah, yeah. Just sadness. No, that's it. That's... <laughs> you'll see. You see Zygarde's oh, complete uh, form. And... Silver was two thousand nine. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. Not, I didn't know that. Uh, Art Gold and Soul Silver, man. Oh my god. Uh, Art Gold and Soul Silver was. 2007 really didn't have anything. Still one of the top tier Pokemon games. Um. All right. So let's good. uh, let's move on to this yeah, topic. Uh, uh, what do you uh, think's gonna be with the new uh new Pokemon? Um, what do you think about the new Pokemon that's oh. coming with Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu? Oh, is there a new Pokemon coming out with that? Yeah, think, it's at the be... end of the trailer. Very last thing, like, there's going to be a new Pokemon coming okay. with it. Um, but we'll reveal more later. Um, I think they'll reveal think it that's... at E3. Um, maybe. Maybe. Like, maybe. Yeah. I mean, maybe they... You couldn't it, see my it, hand it waver. It makes me think that there'll probably be some way to... There'll probably be some way to relate the game to an action... Like, your existing, like, DS game. Um... I doubt it will be. No, it won't be an existing DS like game. Like link it to your to your Poke Bank. It no, uh, it won't. So it won't go. Bank, it will link to Gen Eight though. To, for sure. 
I, I'm sure, like, all the Pokemon okay, Let's Go, that's... Eevee, and Pikachu will be able to go to Gen 8. We, yeah. They're already on the Nintendo Switch and stuff. I don't yeah, think it'll be I hard. Guess, I guess Gen 8's probably... Yeah, I guess Gen 8 makes more sense. Oh, um, did... By the way, I I'm guess they'll... I'm curious what they're gonna do... Go on. What are you curious, um, Derek? Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. Um, What's up? Yeah, I'm here. I'm Derek. Uh, what are you curious about? Uh... I'm curious what they'll do with Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu with Pokemon that are outside of the 151 if that you want to transfer from your phone to, to the game. You because, can't. You won't uh, be able to. Gen 3. Yeah, you. I mean, I it's works. up to Gen 3. It won't, they won't let you do that. Um, just straight straight up, mm -hmm. I don't think they'll let you do that. Um, pretty clearly. Uh, I, it'll be funny when Gen 4 becomes a thing uh actually even that before without gen 4 if i evolve my onyx in Poco in pogo it's no longer able to go over there <laughs> well no onyx is gen 2 if i you're onyx thinking of gly score um or hot what would steelix no, is gen 2 I'm buddy thinking, yeah 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 i know steelix is gen oh, 2. oh that's right yeah i wouldn't one. be able to go over <laughs> that's fun. well um i mean I don't, uh, there's no Gen 2 Pokemon confirmed. There are, um, the Alolan forms of Pokemon, though. Like, the Alolan forms of the first 151, mm -hmm. they're in there. They're in yeah. Pokemon Let's Go. I don't know why, but they're in there. Call them Alolan Ex Executor at work the other day. That's uh, they actually put, cool. Uh, Alolan Executor is in, uh, yeah, he's in Go now. Um, I don't know if there are other Alolans. I think it's just Yeah, they are. No, no, no. There's other Alolans. All the, like, I don't know okay, if all of them are, but all the Generation 1 ones are. For well, sure, I have the long tree. I have the long tree boy, and in this picture, uh, if I like look at him in in Pogo, uh, he doesn't hear his head is out, I like uh, out of the screen. I I want to immediately correct that thing I just said. Also, that is funny, <laughs> but I want to immediately correct the thing I just said. Um, all the low informed Pokemon are Generation One Pokemon. Ah, uh, so <laughs> they're either all in there or not. Yeah. Um, there there are definitely some of the low informs in there, and whatever ones are in the game currently will be in Pokemon Let's Go, I presume. Because uh, we know there's going to be a low informed in Pokemon Let's Go. Um, that was confirmed as well. Mm. So I assume that means I can have an Executor that is fucking tall as fuck and ready to go. Um, I Derek, I really hope you let me transfer that egg. Well, I guess you probably don't. Catch an Executor. Um, don't do anything with him. Just hold on to him. And then we'll transfer yeah. him into Pokemon Let's Go. <laughs> Eevee and Pikachu. Okay. We'll figure out how to do it. I mean, no, I'll mail you my one. Switch so you can do it. What's up? <laughs> I mean, you can have the, the one. You can have the one I got uh, that I got. Like, I don't really care about them. Oh, okay. You can have that one. Well, put we'll put them in. We'll put them in, and we can use them. Yeah, he's not that. He's not that strong. I, I'm excited I to cakewalk version. through that game because there was a co-op mode. Mm. <laughs> um. So. Uh, yeah. Excuse myself again. Um, so, uh, do Literally. you know, have you heard of Gorichu? Probably not, I assume, but. Uh, that's the, that's the, uh, uh, it was supposed to be the third evolution of Pikachu. Yeah. Um, but that never existed. Yeah. Some people think, uh, the new Pokemon is going to be Gorichu. There's like a rumor about it. Ooh, um, I want that. Yeah. Which, uh. Four evolutions. Four evolutions for what? Pikachu? Well, Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu, and then Gorichu. Oh my god, yeah. I forgot about P Pichu's a thing, that's right. <laughs> that, oh, I forgot. Well, um, it would be a... <laughs> definitely be kind of interesting. Um, some, I, I do think, uh... I think it's slightly possible, I suppose. Uh, cause there... Here's the deal, like, with, uh, especially considering Smash 5 in the mix. Uh, that Gen 8 Pokemon has a very high chance of mm -hmm. being in... Ow, cramp. Uh, and also being in uh, Smash 5. Uh, both both games yeah. we're expected to see at E3 right now. Ow, cramp, and uh, Smash 5. Um, <coughs> but yeah. uh, it, it would be... It would make sense, because it's like, well, you can evolve your Raichu into Gorichu. Um, so it would make slight... Uh, it would make some slight sense. Um, and it, I don't know. It feels like something you would be do. Is a low end Gorichu? No. Maybe I don't know. I I I I feel like I don't think it'll be Gorichu. I, I don't. I feel like I, that'd just be ridiculous. I I don't think it'll be Gorichu either. But I do accept that. I I I would I wouldn't 
count it out either, if that makes sense. Like, I, I wouldn't put, like, a high chance on it, but I wouldn't count it out. Um, I am pretty confident, though, that that Gen 8 Pokemon is likely to be in the new Smash game. Um, because that, that, it, like Lucario, sort of. Uh, the, this is a Pokeball. What's up? I said, if, if nothing else, at least as a Pokeball. No, I I think he'll he, he, he I think he'll he'll be a character a boss. I said if nothing else. I no, he's character or boss, Derek. If they're like we don't actually want that guy, oh. he ain't being in the game ever. He's not even gonna be like there's not gonna be a trophy about him. They're gonna pretend there's one less Pokemon than there really is. They're just gonna ignore him. Uh, not even the sticker. How do you feel about the Pokeball controller? Oh, uh, that's. You didn't. You didn't say anything. That's even what. Even with the wrist strap. What'd you say? I said even with the wrist strap. That's even with the wrist strap. That's going through some TVs. <laughs> um, what about walking so, like, with your favorite? The <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. So no, I'm not. I'm not done with this. Okay. So like, <laughs> when the Wii came out, you got like you know that was a thing that happened sometimes. People like people are playing Wii bowling. They they don't have the wrist strap. Oops, I threw, put a Wii mote through my TV. Mm-hmm. The, the, but like none of the things you did on the Wii that I at least that I did on the Wii, I ever really felt the risk of this can easily go through the TV. I thought this could go around the TV, but this isn't going through it. <laughs> oh, but that Pokeball. <laughs> That Pokeball, but that well, Pokeball, they the way it looks, they want you to ch to like chuck that thing right or like right at the TV, <laughs> and like yeah. you know, it, they want they, they want you. It's to, not to, all right. So here look, here's look here's where you're TV. wrong. It's not going through the TV. It's gonna hit the TV, and TVs are so thin now. It's gonna push the TV over, and that's gonna be the end of the TV. That's what's gonna happen. But um, how do you how do you feel how do you feel about walking around with your Eevee or Pikachu or I don't know? I guess you'd probably catch like a Caterpie and bringing it around, and being able to shake it and make an audible noise. You gonna be bringing that to work, Derek? Bringing that to your classes? Isn't that like the Poke Walker from from Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Yes, but more audible. You do you remember that? Yeah, I do. I yeah. used it. I got oh, some Pokemon have, from it. I still have mine. I think there's a Natu on it. It's dead now. <laughs> I know where it is. So. It's dead now. Yeah, I had a Pokemon left in the Pokewalker, um, but I started a new yeah. game in Soul Silver. So like when I tried to transfer it back, it was like, wow, you gotta, you got that. This guy's dying. You gotta let him die. The, the game told me like you gotta let him die. You got, you gotta put him out with the gun yourself. Like, he handed me the, they handed the the Pokewalker Pokewalker actually handed me like a real life gun. And I like kind of like did a holographic projection of Nachu. Apparently, he could do this. Uh, and I was like, "You got, you got to put him down." Well, not Nachu, whatever the hell I had, probably like a hoot hoot. Um, and I was like, "You got to put him down." Who, who's just looking at me? Like, ah, like sad, really sad. I'm like, I'm sorry, buddy. I shot him like 20 times, just to be sure. Just to be sure. <laughs> You gotta make you gotta make sure you don't want to leave any traces. Speaking of that. which, did you um, see the did you see the Pokemon Gold beta? Um, you know all the Pokemon we were supposed to have that got changed. Um, the most notable no. of which is that Remoraid looks like a gun for real, and Octillery is actually an octopus tank, um, which is cool. But also, there's a uh, Noctowl had a more. Uh, Rowlet looking one. He was actually just like an angry owl, like how you would expect an owl to look like. Except instead of being a head yeah. and a body, it's just one continuous body. It's literally just like somebody took who Hoot, Hoot, stretched him out, and gave him angry eyebrows. And his name was going, <laughs> his name was going to be Who Who, uh, instead of Noctowl. I'm like, Who <laughs> Who evolved into Who Who. It's re it's absolutely funny. Uh, people are like, oh my god, I'd be rocking Who Who. You guys. Yeah. There was also going to be, like, a shark-like Pokemon uh, that I guess eventually became Sharpedo, according to people, um, where it was going to be a shark that had an anchor as a fishtail. And it looked cool, actually. It looked like a cool design. I'm, like, I'm kind of upset that it's not in it. That would that was called Anchorage. Um, I would have liked, liked that. That would have been cool. Like Alaska. 
It was actually yeah, there, it was it was an Alaskan shark. Just hard it was actually based on an Alaskan shark, there... actually. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Are there any Pokemon that that are actually just hardware? Uh like they are hardware itself? Yeah. Yeah, like a tool. Like like is like I I want like a Pokemon I want a power drill with eyes. Well, Rodham, kind of. Uh and He's that... a ghost. He's just a ghost. Yeah, he but he is also a like, Pokemon. Rod- Rodham is sell him. He, yeah, he like he like he's not he isn't hardware like he is or he isn't hardware. Derek, he, he Derek, controls hardware. Derek, Clef key. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I fucking You're love right. Clef key. Clef is like my favorite. I'm glad I have a shiny one named Kyrie. <laughs> <And Kyrie. jingling. laughs> I love the I love the I love the Im- I love the image of like a bunch of like dragons like in like an alley or something like that, and they're like. <laughs> and, like all of a sudden they start hearing like jingling and then they like freak out and run away and then you just see like an angry cleft key like jingling. I always I always imagine like if I could animate I'd make this like animation of like Dialga using a roar of time. It's like this huge giant it uses it on a cleft key. It's like this huge giant like absolute explosion like over nine thousand attacks some Dragon Ball Z <laughs> type level of attack and it, it, it's blast and Dialga's just sitting there all smug like confident got it and then. Uh, the smoke starts to clear, and then Klefki's just there, just uh, perfectly still, and it just starts jingling its jingling. keys in intimidation. And Dialga's is like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> Dialga's attack. Dialga's Dialga's attack sharply falls. No, <laughs> they really should make a move for Klefki, where it just jingles a key, its keys, and it just lowers the attack, like not even sharply, like drastically. Of the Pokemon that's used on, should lower it drastically. Can learn screech. Uh, he can learn. Uh, he might be able to learn Screech. Like I don't know. Metal sound. He can learn Is metal, metal sound. Metal sound just jingling. No, I I want Jingle Keys to be a move, and it's just like it just lowers their attack drastically. They're just <laughs> have it have it have it have it have a unique ability. A unique ability. Jingle Keys. It's a. So like intimidate. I want that to be a terrain. I want that to be a terrain effect. How would that be a terrain like, effect? Like, upro- or like, like, have it be something like uproar. <laughs> he can like only still jingling. <laughs> Clef key is the best. Um, use use jingle keys. Jingle 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 does damage. Whatever opponent attacks, Clef key is still jingling. Yeah, immediately goes to next con- next turn. Yeah. Um, other things that are hardware, um, Litlick, like Litlick, uh, Lampant, and Chandelure, uh, specifically, Actually. I guess just Lampant is a lamp. Um, Genesect is a fully robotic Pokemon, but he's not really a tool, per se. He's not your power drill, but, yeah. I mean, I'm I sure you could... I power drill. Dude, I, I would fucking use a power... It doesn't anchor. Um, I love, uh, Jolmize. Um, that's true. I'm very excited. We'll have to talk about Gen 8, but uh, we'll have to wait until Gen 8 actually has some sort of announcement. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I want if we do that, I want to like, if we do that, I want to try to do my best to ignore them and then look at them live while we're just talking so you can get my, my unedited opinion. Yeah. My, I mean, we might, uh, we might be, opinion. we might be able to do that. I'll just set up another PowerPoint slide <laughs> or a Google slide slide, whatever. Um, <laughs> Woo, we've been talking. I, I ta- can watch you go through it. We've been talking about this for fifty-eight minutes. This has been yeah, a that seems wow. Accurate. Yeah. Um, I've been looking. I keep like, closing my eyes, like looking away from my screen, and then I look at it. I'm like, oh god, that's so bright. Stop. Yeah. Oh, that's un- understandable. When you, especially when you're at the campsite at the fire, um, and the only other source of light is the fire. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Understandable. Oh, I'm no longer there. I told you I got kidnapped by forest people. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in like their hut. Like oh, that's tents, right. You're so. in the tents. I don't. Are they hot forest people? Or like yeah. ugly forest people? No, no, they're not hot. Oh, that's not the ones I've seen. Okay. Well, no, sorry, not you. You're you're okay. <laughs> I was talking about the rest of them. He's okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, you can dress up your Pokemon. How do you, how do you feel about dressing up your Pokemon? Yeah, I saw that. I, one of the things I reacted to was one of the things that I reacted to when I 
I was looking as they they put, put like swirly goggles in like a top hat or something like that on Eevee, and I was like, ugh. <laughs> I saw it just like pop in. I was like, oh, oh, what is that? I guess I guess it'll be kind of fun to that, uh. That could be a sync point. Yeah. Oh, you know what? If you want to sync me up to the video? That could be a sync. Point. I I probably won't sync yeah. you up to the video. I don't know what I'll do with those live reactions that we did get. Uh, I might I might put them in there. Um, I might put them in the intro. I don't know. Um, yeah. that you might have saw them. You might not have. Uh. Well, I, will, I, I there is one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, all your Pokemon are accessible from your bag. There's no PCs. Good. You say good. It doesn't look like it needs them. Well, yeah, well, yeah but like, like that game doesn't look like it needs. Them. Yeah, but I'm still. Not I'm just saying it was the same time. Yeah. Um. It's like, I mean, Pog Pogo does the same thing. Well, yeah, because. It'd be fucking weird if you just brought six Pokemon. Like, right, but yeah, um, I I, I really hope uh, that that goes back to normal in Gen Eight games. Uh, I like having just a party yeah, of six. Hopefully. Um, yeah, I hope they do. I I need to have a party of five. I need to have less than the nor than the. I need to have less than the max. And I don't I, understand why infinite, don't you just I will get always have less. <laughs> I don't... Well, if it's infinite, I will probably always have less than the max by having less than infinite but still why don't you just do what you did last last time and just add an anchor for the hell of it onto your team even though it doesn't fit at all into the team you yeah, had no, he didn't help he didn't really help at all no yeah, no but i think i already had i already had a ghost and i think i already had grass too you know what it's interesting um i do have to say this about gen 8 uh i really hope uh all the po I I hope it's like Pokemon Black and White, and it's just all new Pokemon for a pregame, uh, and it forces you to deal with new Pokemon. It forces you to catch new Pokemon. Um, yeah, I like that. That was awesome. That was the best. Like that was the um, best thing about Pokemon Black also, and White. Also, I don't know if Delmis is hardware because isn't Delmis the the algae? Yeah, well, maker? yeah, yeah. It's the algae. I mean, algae's hardware. You can use it to make a fake mustache, and then you can sing a musical song. Which will that's give you the power true. to sing a musical it's, song, and monsters will listen to you and help you cross a very dangerous abyss. Uh, <laughs> that is very true. I, I, I've seen this. I, I've seen this happen eleven times. As a matter of fact, I honestly believe it's way more than eleven times. Um. All right. Uh. Do you have anything else you'd like to say about? Do you have anything else you'd like to say about Pokemon? Let's go. All right, Pikachu and Eevee. Um. I don't. I don't really think so. It's it's definitely not something I'm gonna get though. I'm um, I'm only getting it for YouTube purposes. Um, as I said before, I really don't want this to sell well, cause uh, which yeah. sounds mean, but like it's just I don't want Nintendo being like ah, there were some good ideas yeah. in this. They're not like I, I, like I said, it could have if if this released in 2016, um, but it didn't. It's 2018 now. Pokemon Go is. I mean, it's still alive for They're some, late. but for, like, most people, it's dead. For, mo like, mm -hmm. like, everyone, for most people, it's a dead thing. Um, uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't want, I, I, that, that's where I feel. Um, I will be, I'll try to get it. I'll try to cover it with, uh, the people I can. I don't know if it'll just be me and then probably not going to happen. New co-hosts, or maybe it is, I don't know. Or it'll be some me and someone else random, or me and uh, someone else and uh, the new co-host or whatever. I'm, you know, I, I'll figure mm -hmm. out something. But I, I, my, my goal is to try and grab this. But like ultimately, if I don't find anyone worth doing this with, I don't see any reason for me to mm -hmm. grab it. I really don't. Um, that's the reason I'm getting. I, I, I plan on getting it because I like covering these Nintendo games. Um, yeah. All right. I, uh, I don't have an. How do we how do we end the spellcast, Derek? How do we end uh, it? Do we have a do we just oh, say the next hey, time on hey, spellcast? Forest, forest guy, do you have do you have anything else to add? Right, the forest guy doesn't have anything else to add. Um, <laughs> did he add anything at all in the first place? No, 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 <laughs> no. Well, no, no, he didn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you have anything add to add in the first place? Okay, no, he doesn't. He was, <laughs> Was, I didn't know if he was doing the. I, he, he could have been to the thing where he took what I said literally. Does the forest guy um, want to end the episode? So, <laughs> Ask me who wants to end the episode. Do, do you want to end the episode? 
Uh, okay, so he told me he wants to, but I don't. I don't, I don't think. I don't think we want him to. <laughs> I I don't I don't like to see him end the episode. No, we we can't we can't say that. Yeah, yeah, we probably shouldn't let him do it. Um, I, let's let's let him. Let's let him. Let's give him a time to speak. All right. Well, I, I know. Right. I got it. I got it. Um. All right. Okay. Next time. <laughs> um. Next. Next time on the spellcast. I guess. I guess that's how we're ending it. Next time on the spellcast, everyone. Uh, com- something a completely different topic. I don't know what. Should we? Should we Probably have... E three. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, maybe. I was gonna say, should we have like an intro jingle? Well, we should for skeletons. Let's just have Clef Key's. Yeah. Let's just have Clef Key's sound effect <laughs> be the Angry intro jingle. jingle. <laughs> <laughs> can we have it? Oh, but can we? Oh, fuck, what's his name? Can we have uh, Cricket Tunes? <laughs> that was no! so what? <laughs> it's just a Clef Key jingling. Um, it's Cricket Tune doodly whooping, and then it's Chandelier's yeah. like it's like <laughs> incredibly like but incredibly big. Crushed a Pokemon cry, because Chandelier's is pretty good too when it's like bit crushed. Yeah, yeah, that that that'll be our intro. That's our intro jingle. <laughs> no, I I don't got anything. So now next time on the spellcast, um, well, our next topic will be uh, our smooth jazz smooth jazz reports. Yeah, that's what it'll be. All right, it's sick for me. It's just six hours of can of Kelp G every single day. Yeah. Spoilers. Subscribe to us if you watched all of this. You might as well. You wasted enough time. Yeah. You, I, you, it's too. You can't get it back. Might as well just subscribe. <laughs> all right. Bye bye. For a second, I was just like watched, and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs>